okay, what's smart and what's dumb? They say that this is a dumb controller. They say that this is a smart controller. But I'm going to prove them a little bit wrong because sometimes when they make things smart, they leave things off that really makes it kind of dumb. So hold on, I'm going to show you one sec. Hey guys, uh, I guess it comes from my golf course days. I don't like an automated system to automatically set up and run, regardless of whether it's tied into weather gauges and rain gauges and weather zones and freeze warnings. I'm pretty smart and you guys are pretty smart and I think you know when your lawn needs water. For me, if my lawn hasn't had rain in five days, four or five days, and it's kind of hot out, I'm gonna run my sprinkler system. I'm gonna control when my lawn gets watered. I don't want some system out there set up to water three or four times a week and then it has to check with the weather. Did I get rain? And it says I got rain, but I didn't get any rain here. Here's the problem that I have. This is the way that I water. I go out and what I wanna be able to do is say, I know my lawn needs water. I wanna push one button. And when I push that one button, each one of these zones runs for a different time. So zone one and two run for 12 minutes. Zone three over here runs for five minutes and my big back zone runs for about 14 to 15 minutes. All with one press of a button. That's all I have to do. But because some idiot installed my sprinkler system before we bought the house, way over here in Crap Corner. Now Crap Corner, I got fishing poles, I got Christmas trees, I got all kinds of stuff that ends up over in this corner. And I, it's a pain in the butt. My wife's car is parked here in the morning. I got to walk around. I got to get a flashlight and I got to go push this button. So all I wanted to do was take this thing <laughs> and have it on my phone so I could just run system. And it would run my system for the designated time for each controller, for each station. None of these smart things have that feature, have that option. In other words, they don't have a one button, just open up the app and say run system, and then all those stations will run for a predetermined amount of time. It's not there, it's kind of stupid. And I actually spent time contacting these manufacturers, asking them, saying, why don't you have that? <laughs> it would be really smart if you had a manual feature. It's the same thing a year and a half ago, I did a, I did a video on my Nest of how to convert a Nest into a manual thermostat because I don't need it to learn. I know what I want my temperature to be. So I had to do, figure out how to make that an actual manual system. So my goal here is to be able to be working at my desk or leave here and be able to just push one button and run my stations for a designated amount of time. I'm away on vacation. I look at the weather forecast and I know, you know what? It hasn't rained for a while. I need to run my sprinkler system. I'm gonna run my sprinkler system. So I'm gonna put a link in the description down below and it'll be to this product, which is the cheaper version, which is the generation two, not the generation three of the Ratio that I ordered. When the Ratio comes pretty highly recommended. Um, the only main difference in features that you may want to consider between the two and the three is that this two version runs on 2.4 gigahertz. Most of your routers offer 2 and 5, uh, 5G, 2.4 and 5G. I have a 5G high-tech, high-power router, but it still offers a 2.4 bandwidth. So most of, the, most of your routers actually offer that 2.4. But I don't need all this intelligent weather system in, integrated into my system. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm going to go into my phone and I'm going to screen record how you can set up and do what I want to do, which is just to be able to open up your open up your app and to be able to run your system whenever you want to run your system and have your, each one of your stations programmed. So hold on one second. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this on my phone so you can see this. So you just basically, you just click on your Ratio app, open it up and you'll come to a sort of home screen like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my calendar. So I'm going to click calendar and there's a blue plus button. Click the blue plus button go into a fixed schedule. After I go to a fixed schedule, you'll have eight zones that you can add. And I'm gonna take off all zones except for four because I only have four zones. Go to next, name it, and I'm gonna put crappy two because I already got a crappy because I screwed up a recording, done. Next, uh, specific days, you choose specific days. I'm gonna choose Saturday, next. 
uh, start at a specific time. I'm going to start it at uh, 8 something a.m. Just in case I'm home, so I'm home, and this thing starts to run for some reason, I can see it. Next, start a specific time. Uh, the start date today, end date never, next. So now this is the important mode thing that I've figured out is, is no soak and cycle, or no cycle and soak. So go ahead and click that. Don't worry about the rain skip, freeze skip, just forget about that because we're going to manually run it. So now here's the, the most important part that I've found, is you have to go in and adjust each head. So I'm going to take down zone one, let's say uh, 14 minutes. Zone two, I'm going to take it down. Let's say I want to take it down to uh, nine minutes. Zone three, which is a real small zone I have, so I'm going to take that down to six minutes. Back is a, a real big zone, so I want to run that zone for 24 minutes. Okay, so then I click Next, creating your schedule. Great job, your schedule is created, done. So what I can do now is you'll notice that crappy on here is actually dark. It's not light like the other ones. So I'm going to go on here on crappy, and what I'm going to do is there's a little green button at the top that says Enabled. I'm going to turn that Enabled button off. So once I do that, I have a quick run button at the top, at the very top. So I can hit quick run and that'll actually run this schedule, okay? So now what I do is when I go home, when I'm at my home screen, I just go over to my calendar and I'll have this uh, crappy, crappy is up on the screen and I can just hit quick run. And anytime I want, wherever I am in the world, hit quick run and it'll run that schedule for me without running any other times or watering any other times without any watering. That's my quick fix for the Ratio, how to add a manual button. So you just open it up, click your app, go to that schedule, quick run, and now all of a sudden you got a manual run system, which is what I wanted. The only thing I wanted was not have to come out here and dig through this mess with a flashlight and try and find that one button to quick run. I don't need weather intelligence. I don't need anything else. I will determine when I want to water my lawn and I just want to be able to do it from when I'm inside the house. And so that's how I solve that problem. Again, <clears throat> if that's more so the way that you want to water, go with the generation two. There's a link in the page below. You can go right to this one. Uh, this one's about 140 bucks. The next generation up is about 230 bucks. And if you're mainly going to be doing what I do, which is just, I want to run it when I want to run it, there's no reason to spend the extra money, in my opinion. So that's it, guys. Just a quick little update on how I solved this problem. Talk to you later. Doc.